To lose one daily active user may be regarded as a misfortune, as a 21st century Oscar Wilde might put it. To lose half a million looks like carelessness. Media giant. But 500,000 DAOs wasn't the only thing Mark Zuckerberg has lost lately. The CEO and founder's virtual reality metaverse push, one reason for advertising on iPhones, thanks to an Apple user privacy crackdown. And as Meta's market value tumbled by US$200 billion United States dollars Thursday, a one-day record for any US company, ever. Zuckerberg also lost a cool US$29 billion United States dollars in his own net worth. Hubristo sent it crashing to the ground like Icarus, eventually, but that's not the case yet, if ever. Zuckerberg is in fact in a much, much stronger position than the tale of Wednesday and Thursday's numbers suggest. As maddening as it is for those of us who would love to see the social network regulated, or at least humbled in some way, Zuckerberg can afford to brush off the bad news with his usual carefree honey badger impression. Let's list the reasons. 1. He's in charge. Showed, COO Sheryl Sandberg has far less power to rein her boss in than was widely thought. Like a certain kind of tech founder these days, looking at you, Elon Musk and Spotify's Daniel Ek, Zuckerberg has successfully insulated himself from criticism to the point where he can simply ignore public outrage and tumbling share prices. At least for the foreseeable future. 2. The active user drop ISNT as bad as it sounds. Users came during a quarter when the company was wrestling with an unprecedented double threat. A prominent whistleblower's revelations were followed by a US and Europe. The company looked as troubled as it's ever been during the quarter in question, and it only lost half a million users? If I were Zuck, I wouldn't start to atmosphere. In each instance, the numbers still seem to keep rising long-term, despite our best efforts and the obvious harm to the planet. Throw in Instagram and WhatsApp figures, and Meta's DAOs actually grew from 2.81 billion to 2.82 billion users. Neither Meta-owned service is expected to. Marathon in the last quarter of 2020. Daily than we did in early fall. 4. Meta is minting money. The company's revenue was US$33.7 billion United States dollars for the quarter, slightly more than analysts expected. That's a huge chunk of change. Sure, the US$10 billion United States dollars. Metaverse spend is concerning for investors, as is the US$10 billion United States dollars the company expects to lose in targeted ad revenue thanks to the Apple feature that. But that doesn't mean the fundamentals of Meta's business are going away even if the social network at the center of it is becoming a more mature product. Service that has such a stranglehold on the friendships and feeds of 2.9 billion people? 5. Where's the rival, really? Much is being made of TikTok's growth. It was the most downloaded app in the world, and in the US, in 2021, and boasts a billion monthly active users. Around the world as of September 2021. TikTok's endless stream of short video entertainment caused Instagram to respond with its similar service, Reels. Service? The business pages? The birthday reminders? TikTok can't simply add the features of a social network, even if it wanted to, without diluting the TikTokers, then more of those users would start to pay attention to its complicity in censoring Chinese dissidents. That the replacement would be better, that the port would be easy, and that all our friends would be there on the other side. That seems like a challenge for Silicon Valley veterans with access to the vast amounts of venture capital and engineering talent that would be necessary for any even slightly flammable.